Hello everybody, and welcome back to Divinity, Original Sin, the Enhanced Edition. Uh, we're about to go into the Source Temple. Let's go through it straight away, shall we? Temple Entrance. Achievement Unlocked. Grizzled Finale. Okay, we now have a, a waypoint there, which is nice. Okay. Now, if I remember correctly, we got a message, didn't we, to go... was it right? As we come into the Source Temple. To find a secret passage. Oh, bats. Oh, what do I have down there? Oh, chest. Let's get on there. Uh, read it. Can you give us anything? Oh, we'll take it. Uh, okay. Yeah, pick up. Can't identify it. Send that to Scarlet. A second. I'll put on, where is it? There we go. Equip that. Oh, low. <laughs> low Master and Charisma. Okay, she can keep that one there. Uh, let's put this two strength back on. Ah, uh, what graph. I've not been using his arrows, so I really should do. Nothing coming up so far. Oh, that's actual way into the source temple. It must be there, the left hand side we should have gone down. Uh, I do believe we get some dialogue here though, so we'll get we'll trigger that, shall we? Log updated, there we go. We've entered the source temple, one portal is side been destroyed by Leandra, so we'll have no choice but to find another route through the temple. There must be a hidden pathway I haven't yet found. Okay. Nothing else there. Shall we search them? Oh, can't be bothered. Alright, so we should be around here somewhere, I think. There it is. Little switch on the rock. Boom. Right, now then, the question is, do we have enough soul stones to enter the temple? We shall soon find out, the door will tell us. A tremendous power approaches. Yes, a seed of the divine has been planted among mortals and the sprout bends toward the light by which it sprang. What do you seek, O seed of the divine? I wish to enter this inner chamber. Ah, great one. Your ascension is not yet complete. Enter you may, and enter you shall. But first you must remember, the fragments of your mind and soul are still in disarray. Collect them, arrange them, and then you will be ready for what lies beyond. Your journey may yet take you deep within the corners and castles of Rivlon's greatest secrets. But if you succeed, all will be made clear. Okay, thank you. Right, well then. Uh, we have a waypoint back to this place, don't we? Uh, Source Temple entrance. Yes, let us go to... End of time. And we kept some spare ones, if I remember correctly. <laughs> there we go, use... Bloodstone, as powerful as it is sinister. I feel better already. Let's get a little bit of experience off Bloodstone, these. Bloodstone, as powerful as it is sinister. 
Right, I'm not sure if that's enough or not. We'll soon find out. in there. Three, six, eight, ten, twelve. Is that enough? Let's have a look. Right, we will we must restore ourselves. Think I could fly straight to the void? I think I could fly straight to the right. void. Yeah. Let's go and see what uh Mr. Zigzag has to say. He's not over here, is he? No, nope, Dark Underlord. No, nope, might be back in the chair. We'll go over there and find out. No, he's not. Right, so another portal must have opened. And we just can't see him. There he is. Damn it. <laughs> Should look there in the first place. We have a new room. Good to see you on the shelter plane. A home away from home, is it not? Hmm. Let's discuss the rewoven threads of your tapestry of time. It shall be my pleasure. We learn that the generals renounced their humanity to become immortal wardens of the god box, but if their souls are fused with ours, something must have gone wrong. How very right you are. These thoughts have been bubbling in my mind like so much drink in a still, but I believe they've finally transformed into something quite potable. From what I can gather, the following stands to reason. The generals were put in charge of the god box, but they must have faltered. The Void must have escaped, or how could it loom upon us once more? Perhaps that faltering could explain why their souls were loosed, and why those souls now reside so contentedly within you. Okay, we've seen that Tri have tricked a Starte into tricking us. It's got all kinds of wonders What inside. was he if he was friend to a Starte? I think he is an ancient being so very old he outstrips the gods in their longevity. I think he used to be one with the void, that he used to roam freely through a universe that knew no creation. Perhaps that is why, I conjecture, he may well regard all that is as an abomination as terrifying as we hold the void to be. Time is a transgression most contemptible in his eyes. Space, mere savagery. We know what he did. He befriended Astarte and fed her curiosity until it became so agitated with the need to know what rested in the god box that she herself, this creature of unadulterated purity, turned to deception. He longs for a return to a pre-creational state, for the death of the gods, for the nothingness in which he was born. At least, that is my highly educated guess. Okay, according to what we saw, the Guardians fled when the Void was unleashed. They, we, failed not once but twice in our duty. You were deceived, yes. You fled, yes, but look at you now, Source Hunter. You are returned, nearly at least, to your former glory, your former duty. Tirelessly do you work against the Void's encroachment, and for this we can only be grateful, no matter what the past has held. What do you make of the tale about the Starstone you've told us? I can but conclude the Guardians must have felt an overwhelming amount of guilt for their perceived failings. Why else would they scatter their very souls to the wind? We may not have a clear picture as yet of their true involvement in the fall of Astarte, but what we can finally put beyond doubt 
is how pieces of their very souls, your very souls, are being turned into bloodstone and used by the Immaculates to commit atrocity. They are your enemies, and therefore are they enemies of time. The worst kind of people, those. Okay, let's update you on my progress. Okay, we know all that. Let's change the subject. The rooms. Certainly. Jokes. Oh, I could tell a joke or two. Okay. Free on a good day. Okay, I'll take my leave. That's an inactive portal. <laughs> Okay, so we're not going in there. My friends, to indulge an old imp. I want you to know that I have been giving your history a lot of thought. For any historian worth his salt duly contemplates the events he records and researches. It is my solemn conclusion that you have been treated rather harshly, and that the harshest punishment of all was delivered unto you by your very own hand. For tell me true, what are humans worth, even if they ascend to the status of demigod, if they be void of all doubt, if they question unfailingly their duty? The demon abused a most primal emotion, and because of that, that emotion has been dubbed a weakness. Nay, I say, it is not. Indeed, it will save us yet, be it in the very last nick of time. So, chipper up, eh? Not like the near impending end of all is entirely your fault. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there we go. Well, that's how we triggered it. Uh, to the chapel. Well, hang on a minute. We need to speak to each other. At least Zigzag seems to think we guardians aren't utter failures. Uh, bless his heart, for he is right. Doubt is not a blight, but a blessing. I couldn't agree more. In fact, I'd go so far as to say we didn't fail at all. That may have been the gods' conclusion, but it isn't mine. Okay. Independent. Right, to the chapel. A chapel? And a truly beautiful one at that. I have the feeling it has long since been abandoned by the gods, though. Oh, guardians in whose hands rests the fate of all, I know he, the usurper, the instigator, has been trying to charm you. Charm you like he once did us both before. Do not listen to him. Do not listen. For every sound he makes is another vocalization of deceit. And what is more, a ruse to mark his weakness. First he seems to mock you. Then he seems to menace you. Then he seems to mesmerize you. But all the while, what he really does is fear you. His desire has been long in the making. The freedom among the void that is his unfathomable dream. But I have stopped him once, and you can do so again. You have pieced yourselves back together, Guardians. You are greater now, perhaps, than you ever were. The maw of the void is chomping with big black teeth. But there is still time to kill the beast. Rise up, guardians. Stand up. Come to me at the center of the maelstrom and stand by me. Our enemies fear us. And well they should. We'll hit the void in the jaw yet and put a halt to its ceaseless devouring of creation. Okay. Right, so it looks like we're near enough ready then. I think devouring those stones had the effect we wanted it to have. Anything else here? Another chest there. Check on that. See what it is. And I also need to check if there's anything updates for the generals in here as well. 164. They both go to Wolraf. Alright. Uh, walk this way. Let's 
Is there anything there? Oh, what's this? This too must enshrine a most honoured soul. Still, it seems almost lonesome among the gloom here, does it not? By the sins of the seven, can it be? You, guardian and general before that. Uh, with whom do I have the honour? Has time erased all memory of me? It is I, a lesser. The general who stood by your side when the Void Dragon first plagued our world so very long ago. Three of us faced our foe that day. Only two lived to tell the tale. Oh, what happened to you? You stared the Void straight in the eye and saw oblivion reflected back at you. You broke, panicked, and it took me the very depths of my magic to rally you once more. Rally you I did, but I was spent and the dragon did not hesitate. Thus, I perished in the jaws of the void. Uh, then let me beg your forgiveness for our breakdown, which cost your life. Indeed. We're sorry we failed you, Alessa. Praise be that you restored our courage. There is nothing to be sorry about, Guardian. I did what had to be done, and after that, so did you. I, you did your duty and more. You gave up the rank of General to become something greater. Something immortal. Guardian. Protector of the God Box. Protector of all creation. Oh, how terrible it must have been to be betrayed. To hear a starting whisper. To falter ever so briefly and see the dragon rise anew. Hmm. Okay. That was our darkest hour to air is human, but we were immortals. There it we was go. a moment of weakness that we are paying for still. Long as the void lives, all of existence remains under threat. You shouldn't blame yourself. It would be an injustice to do so. You undertook a task, after all, that the Seven themselves should have presumed. And where are they now, these allegedly all-powerful gods? Cowering in a distant universe, no doubt. But you, you are here. Ready to face your fear yet again. Destined, I am sure, to succeed at long last. To succeed and save time and space forever. Your moment is nigh. The moment of final failure or final triumph. I know what shall be. Your time has come. The void is destruction. You are creation. The greater force that will best a lesser foe. Well. Wow. Another in a long line of the Void's wretched victims. Come what may, we'll avenge them all. And we have an update. Source Hunter's Journey. We met General Alessa, who says that we great generals once fled before the Void, and she was forced to rally her courage. Unfortunately, she lost her life due to our hesitation. Yes, that's very sad. Oh. What happens with the altar? Oh. You're... Why? You're home? How long it's been? Centuries? Eons? Since you come to me in search of salvation. But I have not changed nearly so thoroughly as you have. My offerings remain the same, dear protector. As have my prices. Okay, what do you have to offer? Portions of great and incomparable strength, dear protector, as ever. During the Great War, you found full resistance to the elements quite useful. Perhaps history will repeat itself. Ooh, 90% air resistance. <laughs> and which of these then? What? <laughs> uh, Earth. I mean, we're not doing anything else, are we? Let's, let's put them all in and sell some stuff. There we go, 39,000. We're not going to be spending money on much now. Let's see what we got. Um, keep that. Don't need those. Don't need that. Those. That. That. That's wow. Okay, there's a lot of this we don't need. Keep that. Two 
to perception. Mm, mm, that's better than one wearing. Okay. So all this though. Back am I? Oh, there we go. At least we're five k. I'll do. Thank you. I'll take my leave. And thank you very much. Um, let's just see if I need to speak to Zigzags again. I don't think I do, but we'll check it. Early. Uh, sorry about that. Somebody at the door had to answer it. Right, have a quick word again. I don't think there's anything else we need to do, but Good I guess. To see you on the shelter plane. A home away from home, is it not? Take my leave. We have time. Serve our mission. Kara. What's the word, Source Hunter? Doesn't it? You'll need to find more star stones if you're to open the gate within the Source Temple. You must remember yourselves, Source Hunters. You must remember all. Okay, I'll take my leave. Uh, does that mean I need to use the last one? Bloodstone, cold, as monster. powerful as it is sinister. Very, very cold. Okay, well we used it anyway, so where's it gone? Why are there two of us? Fly straight two to the beings that record all of history parallel to one another. Oh, yeah, I can't oh, wait up. Not really matters. Oh, we have two more. All right, well, let's Check. get them in there just for the hell of it. My magic box? It's got all kinds of wonders stashed inside. I'm taking it that should be enough. So let's head back to Source Temple entrance. Uh, head to the left this time, and through the passage. And down to the door. And if we haven't got enough now, I don't know what we're going to do. Once more, a great power graces the temple okay. of Guardian, Divine. You are whole once more, restored to your former glory and power. Ready are you for what lies beyond. Ready are you to illuminate the darkness. Okay. Saving. That's good. Thank you. Oh, Waypoint Shrine. Right, we just open that door by clicking that. As if I remember, uh, if I remember correctly, we don't need to do any of that. Two hundred and ninety-nine ways to wisdom. You don't have time for most of the suggestions listed in the book. Okay. Hmm, now then. Try 
trying to remember what we do with this. It's a simple sequence, I can't remember what it was. Let's just uncover all this while we're here. Empty bottle, empty bottle. Ah, there we are. First trigger. Uh, inside the source temple. By lighting certain candles, the first step of the ritual would registered. Okay. That's the second one. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, there, 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 there. third sequence was there it is oh no it's just a second step okay There it is. Whoa. I didn't think I'd remember it, but I have. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. So, we can move through the Source Temple. And I think we're about coming up to the end of this episode. Oh, hang on. We've got a discussion. The Trial of Ascension is behind us. Do you feel quite ascended? <laughs> yeah. Of all the worthless, worthless diversions, I thought this was supposed to be a legendary source temple. Let's hope whatever comes next is grounded firmly in the reality before us. Uh, materialistic. Okay, well that seems about a good point to end the episode, folks. So, next episode we'll move further into the source temple. Uh, thank you very much for watching. It's all great. Sign off.